Boys, so they did a lot of things in MLB The Show. First things first, they ended up patching a two-way glitch, and there are a ton of really, really good cards that are coming to MLB The Show tomorrow. We got a ranked season program coming up, and then we've got the Egg Hunt program also. Now, usually those are free cards. However, I would not be surprised if they ended up adding a pack, so I am going to be saving a ton of stubs, probably... I just don't want to put a ton into my investments right now, so we're probably going to put about 100k on the sideline because I don't think that these cards are going to be like too crazy expensive if they do drop a pack, but I do want to be prepared if they have some really good bats that I can go and get them. Pitching right now, I feel like it's pretty iffy. I mean, I feel like I'm okay with the guys that I got. Pitching is not what's really losing me games unless they have just some crazy pitching card come out tomorrow. I anticipate a couple of really good uh, hitters coming in tomorrow so we'll see but before we get into today's video and we talk about how we're going to prepare we talk about a couple of things make sure you guys drop a like and a sub and let's get right into it thanks to my video sponsor u4gm they're offering cheap mlb the show 24 stubs with quick delivery if you're interested please click the link in the description and check out their services use my code brady for five percent off your purchase so there are a ton of free cards that are coming to the game this year we're getting a 90 overall john schmoltz which could be pretty cool um, like I said, this is from the Egg Hunt program, so this is probably going to be a free card, which is really, really awesome. I mean, usually John Smoltz cards are okay. I can see him probably having about 90 or 100 hits per nine. He'll be a fastball slider, curveball guy. Um, he'll have a couple more pitches, probably like a two seam, but he usually throws like 94, and he doesn't really have a pitch that's just like disgusting. He's kind of just like every other pitcher in the game right now. That doesn't really surprise me. Even when John Smoltz have 99 overall cards, like... I never freak out about it. Some people really like that, but there are a lot of other cards that are coming. For example, Aaron Bummer. This is going to be a really good program card. Uh, sinker Cutter Lefty, you can expect, since he's a reliever, to have about 110 hits per nine. Usually these reliever cards are amazing. So this card's gonna be really, really good, but these are kind of the cards that have dropped so far. But you also gotta keep in mind, if you guys haven't been looking, is these cards just came to MLB The Show. Juan Soto, the Fresh Start Program. It's got some really, really good guys, and I don't anticipate any of the cards that are coming tomorrow to be as good as, for example, Juan Soto, who pretty much is disgusting, the best starter in the game right now, or Corbin Burns, the best pitcher in the game right now. So I'm kind of just holding on to stubs. I haven't bought a lot of these cards yet because I'm going for collections, and it's kind of just taking priority over these guys. If you guys are a no-money-spent guy like me, you kind of got to... Uh, pick and choose what you want to do. You know, I kind of am just accepting that in the beginning of the year I'm probably not gonna get into my ranked seasons World Series grind Usually at the beginning of the year I'm going for 10 and 1 BR runs 10 and 0 flawless BR runs so I can go and get some of these cards so I can get a lot of stubs and get these uh, Collections done because I do think although Juan Soto Corbin Burns are really good for example uh, those 99 overall cards that we are getting from the program are a little bit better. Like, I would rather have Babe Ruth in my lineup and go for him first, rather than getting a Juan Soto card, which obviously is amazing, but there are still a lot of good cards that are going to be coming around the corner that are going to make this Juan Soto drop a ton in price. Like, whenever we start seeing 95 overall corner outfielders coming in the game in probably about three weeks, um, two weeks or so, um, then this Juan Soto I could see dropping to about 10 15 K same with the Corbin Burns cards like these are, are not gonna stay 80 90,000 stub cards forever They're just gonna be like this for probably a couple of weeks But right now these fresh start cards are definitely they're definitely carrying the market a little bit Which I like that they did this program definitely a cool one like Tyler O'Neill having an 89 Michael King having an 89, Chris Sale having an 89. Like those are the best cards in the game right now. But the program cards that we're going to see tomorrow, I don't really know what's going to happen. All I know is that we're going to get a free program. I'm going to come out with a video on the fastest way to finish it tomorrow. But I'm going to be saving some stubs on the side. Hopefully, they, are te they haven't teased yet, and there's just a couple of good cards that drop tomorrow that are really good. For example, like a really good bat, because they've only showed pitching cards, I believe, on... Um, yeah, they've only showed that we're getting Aaron Bummer, and that we're getting 90 overall John Smoltz. So I would guess that we're going to get a 91 or 92 overall, which is what they've been dropping right now, card in the program tomorrow that's going to be really good. So I'm kind of hoping and waiting. I mean, usually they don't like to drop these type of things till they actually come out at 2 tomorrow, I believe 2 Central. And so we'll probably not see it till about noon tomorrow, but I'm really hoping for like a Yelich card, um, some older guys that could be cool like a Gary Sheffield card would be a really good hitting card I would love that and I'd probably put him in left field right now I mean, it'd be really nice to have a card like that But it's kind of just wanting to keep cards on the side 
and they have done a couple of patches that we've gotten in a couple days like for example the two-way patch if you guys didn't know that until now like if you were playing ranked and playing br you wanted to draft a two-way because they could throw every single game i don't know how this is a glitch this year when this was such a huge problem last year but they ended up finally fixing it it only took them a week and a half but it's just kind of what mlb the show does Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they added that in the game just to juice Otani a little bit more so people wanted to bowl Otani. I don't know what they're doing, but they have finally fixed it. So BR and Ranked, have you been dealing with that? And obviously the server issues that are going on right now, they're talking about hopefully getting them resolved. As of about 20 minutes ago, I'm pretty sure that they're going again because I just played a Ranked game. But still, I cannot believe that we are having these type of problems. Um, happy opening day boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, but there's not a ton of things to talk about today I mean, I'm just kind of prepping for tomorrow Obviously, I'm putting stubs on the side for some of these big cards that come out Supercharged cards are gonna be coming tonight after there's all these MLB games So I would honestly if you want to go get some silver cards go pick up some silver cards that you think could pop off tonight um, I'm gonna go look at that soon because I might make a video on it because if we can pick up some supercharged cards and then they are all just gonna jump in price like two three thousand stubs and then we're gonna have a ton of subs because we're gonna make like a hundred K profit on buying a silver card for 75 stubs and then flipping in for 400 today whenever you supercharge so just kind of keep that in mind because whenever there are supercharged cards they usually skyrocket in price not like a crazy amount, but usually the supercharged, like the opening day, I bet that they'll be supercharged for about three to four days. It's what they usually are. And so we're going to be able to make a ton of money on these cards. So just kind of keep that in mind. I think I'm going to go look for some silver bats that I think could pop out tonight and probably just buy like six or seven each. I'll probably invest probably 20K tonight. And what's the worst that happens? I lose 2K or I end up hitting big on one and I end up making like a hundred, like 50K. Probably 50k. I would say that they'll probably triple in price, but they're not going to go much more over that. But if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, make sure you smash that like and sub button. I'll talk to you boys later. Have a great rest of your day, and peace!